Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a Maxima strobe module. How to wire to video. How to make your own. How to make your own hard top part. How to change the oil. How to fix the light problems. How to install. How to do a complete tune-up. I'm gonna show you how to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in real close and show you all the wiring, where they go, and uh, kind of explain what they do. I did all of the wiring off camera, that way to keep the video a little bit shorter. Before I zoom in, you see over here, I've got my makeshift battery. Um, we just have our one power wire coming from it and a ground wire coming from it. And when installing one of these strobe modules, if you have a relay in the system, like if you have an existing wiring harness that uses a relay, you need to install this after the relay. If you install it before the relay, it'll cycle the relay on and off really, really fast, just like it was trying to strobe it, and then it'll burn up your relay. Okay, we're zoomed in really close on our switch panel here, um, or our little makeshift switch panel. We just have a regular on and off rocker switch and a momentary push button. And then on the back here, we have this red wire, which is coming from the battery and goes into our switch. It also has this yellow wire that is attached to it that jumps over to one side of the push button. So that means we have power coming from the battery to the switch, and it also shares power to the push button. This black wire here is actually a power. For some reason on the uh, strobe module, they decided to use black wires for both the positive and negative, but it is marked on the strobe module. I'll show you that in a second. But this is the power for the strobe module that goes over to the positive side that is marked on the strobe module. And then the yellow wire goes over to a yellow wire on the strobe module. And it is marked flash pattern. Again, I'll show you that here in just a second. And then there's this other black wire that is behind here that runs to the ground of the battery. Okay, I've got this zoomed in about as far as I can with it staying in good focus. This is the module itself. It says 20 amp max. Um, they're saying that you can use 10 amps per side, which this has two channels. You have power, ground, power, and ground. I wouldn't run 10 amps to each of these. Um, I would run a total of 10 amps for the whole system. I wouldn't run any more than five amps on each of these um, just because it's you know some small wiring uh, and j just to be safe. But as you can see, it says output and you have your positive, negative, positive, negative. And these are going to each of the lights, a positive to one light, a negative to one light, positive to the other light, negative to the other light. And on the other side, you see we have our positive and negative. This is the positive that's coming from the switch. And like I said before, they used black for both positive and negative. So you have to read the really small print here. But this is the positive that runs over to the switch. This is the negative that runs to the battery. And this is the flash pattern that runs to the push button. And here's everything in frame, like I showed. This is the power coming into the switch and also jumping over to power of the push button from the push button into flash pattern on the module. Power coming out of the rocker switch to the positive of the module. The ground for the module is going straight to the battery and then our positives and our negatives are going to our lights. Now that we have everything wired up, we can turn on the lights and you'll see that we have just a simple, you know, left and right kind of strobe pattern. And then it's gonna change through all of these. Uh, when you first hook this up, it's on its default setting, which cycles through all of the different patterns. Uh, with that one that just went on, um, they were actually flashing so fast that they looked like they were solid on through the camera. But with the push button that we installed, you give it a quick little push and it gives a 12 volt pulse to the module to tell it to change through. And this is the solid on. It does keep memory, so if you shut it off, turn it back on, it's still on the last preset that you've used. This is a really nice function because you can still use your lights as solid on lights. Um, like there's a uh, module that's very, very similar to this that is made by Rigid Industries. And theirs has, I think, like eight or nine different patterns. This has 14 or 16, but the Rigid Industries doesn't have a solid on function. 
So it's kind of pointless. It turns your lights into strobes only. But then you can use your push button to cycle through. This is one of the ones that looks almost like they're solid on, but they're actually flashing so fast that uh, the camera is not really picking it up because of the frame rate. Again, that's another one. They're flashing so quickly that it looks like you know they're just solid on. So as you can see, you have a lot of different patterns. And again, there's another one that's like ultra strobe that looks like solid on with the camera, but it's actually blinking really, really fast. And then we're back to the solid on. So that's just a quick, simple how to wire the Maxima strobe module. I'll leave a link to this down in the description. I know I made a reference or a comparison, you could say, to the Rigid Industries strobe module. I'm not saying that this is a better quality module than the Rigid Industries, uh, but they look very, very similar. They wire exactly the same. The only difference is a couple different colors of wire. Uh, but like I said, the Rigid Industries does not have a solid on feature. So to me, it seems kind of pointless. If you have your LED lights, eventually you're going to want them solid on. Um, and this module has that function. The Rigid Industries does not. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. Um, if you find a video that you like, make sure to hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.